queries are a very important part of Access, in fact any database really. They allow you to take information in a table, such as this one I've got here with contacts, and retrieve specific information. So I might want to find out everyone who's in London, everyone who might be getting a letter or an email. I could even find things based on particular status here as well, and so on. So this is a quick introduction to what queries can actually do. So there are select queries for finding this information. There are also update queries for going through and updating information. For example, we've got county here. It says London. If that was to change to Greater London, I could get a query to go through and update all of that. They can also be good for things like salaries and prices, where you might want things to go up by a particular amount based on certain criteria. There's also make tables, so I can take information from here and put it into another table that can be based on certain criteria. It could be, say, people who have retired or left a company. You want to store them somewhere else so that when they do get deleted from here, you've still got an archive. You can also add it to another table that is the same or similar to this. So you're taking data and appending to it. So that's an append query. You've also got a delete query, which can go through and delete particular information based on certain criteria. But we're just going to start by having a look at actually selecting the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this. I'm going to go to Queries. And over here in my database window, you'll see that I've got a New button. So I'm going to click on New. I have some options here, but the first one I'm going to take a look at is this Design View. I'm going to click on OK. And up comes a list of my tables. You can see over here it's got Tables, Queries, or both. You can basically do a query based on a table, so you're retrieving information from a table, or you can actually query an existing query, but we're not going to do that here. I'm going to actually go here to Contacts. I'm going to click on Add, or I could have just double-clicked on that. For this one, I'll just click on Add, then click on Close. You can add more than one table, but just to get started, we're going to do just this. So what I want to know in my query here, this is my query grid down here. What I'm going to do here is my table. I want the title to go down here in that column so I can just add it by clicking and dragging. I'll do the same for the first name. You can also click on this drop down list and choose last name. You can also, because I want the address, I can just double click. Also put it in there and county as well. I'm just going down to here to choose send as well to add a bit more to my query. Okay, so that is my query grid and I've now filled in some bits here. I can move things around if I want. So if I want to move the last name across, I just click there at the top and click and drag it to move it across there. I'm just going to move it back. You can sort the information. If I want to sort by last name, I can choose it to be ascending. So it goes from A to Z or descending in reverse order. Okay, so if I was just to take a quick look, I can either click on Run, or I can click over here on View. And I'm just going to click on View, and you can see it's got everyone in there. It says it's Query 3, it's a select query. It says Query 3 because I've not saved it yet. And you can see everyone is in here. It says I'm currently looking at Record 1 of 11. If I click on a different line, it says I'm now on Record 4. I could go to a specific one by typing it in and pressing enter and you can see it's jumped down to it. Let's go back to the design. So what I'm going to do is I want to have a look at everyone who is in London. So I'm just going to click here. Down here is my criteria and you'll see you have many lines down here. I'm just going to type in London. It's not case sensitive. You'll see that when I clicked on the next line it put it in quotes. You don't have to type the quotes in. You can if you want to. I'm just going to go to my view, and you'll see it's only showing me everyone in London, and down here it's only showing seven of them. You'll notice that there's a send on all of them. I'm just going to untick a few of them. Okay, and I'm going to go back here to view. I'm now going to choose yes as the ones to send. So you can see you can have multiple criteria in here. I'm now going to run it, and just so that you can see it, I'm going to click on this Run button here. It does the same thing. So you can see it's only showing four records, which it says down here, 
and it says in London that I'm sending to. If I was going to take it one step further, I could just do all the misters. So if I was to go back to here, I could do mister and run. So you can see what queries are all about now. It's about being able to find information. I can simply alter these by taking them out. I can save things. I'm going to click on save. I've got to give it a name. Don't make the name too long, but I'm just going to type in QRY, short for query. You don't have to do that, but I like to do it. I'm going to call this one first query. Okay, one of the reasons you might want to do this is when you're looking at a list of tables and queries together, by prefixing this with QRY and tables with TBL, it actually makes it easier to distinguish which one is which, since things like reports can be based on tables or queries in the same for forms as well. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to close that. And you'll see there it is. All I have to do is double click and it runs that query. I could have gone to design and made a change there too. So one of the things that I could do here is in my county, I could also put in Essex. So this will find London or Essex. It finds people in London with their yes in the send column and Essex with whatever in the send column. So if I wanted that to be yes as well, I have to put it in on both lines. And when I run it, you'll see it comes up with just one Essex matches that criteria. So each line is effectively an or. So you can have one line with one thing or criteria with another line or another and you can keep going with that and they can have different combinations on each line. So that is getting started with queries in Access.